In one of the most daring and captivating live events in the Bay Area and Tampa Bay history, world famous aerialist Rick Walinda will journey across St. Pete's sundial this Saturday. And in Walinda family tradition, Rick will cross the courtyard on a cable no bigger. Oh. Listen to this. The cable is no bigger than an index finger and without a safety net or harness to help raise money uh, for charity. Rick joins us this morning along with Ashley Fox from Pinellas uh, Habitat for Humanity. Nice to see you both. And as we were talking, yeah. off the air, of course, uh, to touch on this briefly, uh, your family had some trouble during rehearsal in Sarasota. Uh, some went to the hospital, but everybody's going to make a full recovery. We everybody's going to make a complete recovery. My sister needs surgery on her hip, mm. and uh, my cousin Liana is probably the worst injured, and, but I'm told that she's okay, too. But that just highlights the fact mm -hmm. that, I mean, the Walinda family, you, you risk your lives for our entertainment, and, and sometimes accidents happen, but we, we thank you for doing that because it's... Uh, you know, it's 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 yeah. a risk. There are no guarantees. I know, right? So explain what the event is. What are you going to be doing on Saturday? And again, for a great cause, which we'll get to in just a second. But for those who have been there, the sundial sits right in the middle of the uh -huh. courtyard, <laughs> and at each end is a tower. And I'm going to stretch a wire from one tower to the other one and walk right over the top. I'm going to try to tell you what time it is as I pass over it. What's the difference between the the, the cable and a and a tightrope? Is a tightrope what they used back in the back in the day? Yeah, we're we're into new technology now. Steel <laughs> wires, seven by nineteen aircraft cable with a fiber core is what I use. What do you think yeah. about when you're up there? How, how do you get in that mentally prepare for that? I think about staying up there. That's uh, <laughs> and, and well, get to the other side. Well, does it like what happened this week? Does that change? It doesn't how you... change anything at all. The the um, I immediately I went to the hospital to where my sister was. They took people to three different hospitals, so I went to the one where my sister was, and. Uh, you know, we we did talk about business. The show is going to go on. My show is going to yeah, go on. Yeah. Their show is going on. They open tomorrow, or they open Friday today, mm -hmm. Friday. Yeah. In um, Sarasota, at Circus Sarasota, and uh, we're, you know, the show goes on. It's not going to stop because of that. Show must go on. And, and Ashley, will you be also uh, <laughs> a part of the, the, the tightrope walking? I will or? be watching. <laughs> I will be watching. I will be just watching. So you have a gala coming up. That this will uh, benefit everybody at Sundial is taking part of this. Yes, um, our gala is. Um, April 8th, Saturday, April 8th at the Vinoy, and uh, the theme is Vu Cirque. So this was a perfect tie-in, and what an opportunity to uh, showcase Rick Walenda and um, Sundial as part of the Edwards group. Well, and this is so interesting. We were talking about, like, when did you choose that it was going to be a circus theme for this event? It's such a historic year. I want to get your thoughts, too, Rick, on the circus closing this year. But uh, you guys were right on the money with planning a, a perfect event for this uh, year. That was fortunate. We've been planning this for well over a year. Wow, Kismet, a lot goes into it. As they say. <laughs> are, are you encouraging people who uh, attend the gala to uh, come in costume, or are you going to leave that to the... Just the decorations and so forth. Well, some people will be in costume. Mm -hmm. There will be a lot of activities that are uh, circus themed. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a very interactive event. In fact, um, we have 12 designers that actually design rooms, the dining rooms within the wow. event. And the guests get to go around and vote on the, the best theme. All right. Well, Rick, what is your thought on the circus closing this year? Were you surprised when the, when the news came out this year? Absolutely. And, it, and it's terrible. It's a terrible thing, uh, not only for circus people, but for the spectators, our culture. Mm -hmm. Here's the greatest show on earth, been in existence for almost 150 years and shutting down suddenly like that without warning. Nobody expected mm -hmm. anything like that to happen. Did you have a lot of friends that were, you know, performers? And I have friends. My family was there for 16 years. Oh, I know. Years. Yeah. So, and your family, uh, you guys have done this for, what, a couple of hundred years? We can document all the way back to the early 1800s. And isn't it amazing how something that started basically three centuries mm -hmm. ago is still every bit as exciting, if not more exciting, uh, than it was then. Live entertainment, yeah. family-oriented, G-rated. There's nothing going to replace The Greatest Show on Earth or The Circus. But in the 1800s, you had, what, five-story buildings? <laughs> and, you know, somebody uh, on a wire between two five-story yeah. buildings. That was amazing. And they now did you guys... From a church steeple to the highest building. Yes, that's... <laughs> and they would go out there and they'd make flapjacks and throw them down to the people. <laughs> they'd bring a stove out there. Wow. wow. And now you're going across canyons yep. and all this stuff. I intend to walk uh, to Lula Gorge next year. That's near the Grand Canyon, isn't it? No, Tallulah Gorge is, is the largest canyon east of the Mississippi River. Okay. It's in Georgia. My grandfather did it on his 50th anniversary. Next year is my 50th anniversary. Oh, well, you have to come back. Uh, please keep us posted on Absolutely. everything. Thank you. Thank you for being here again. I know it's a, a busy weekend for you guys. Please give your family the best from us. Thank you. All right. Well,